So Man United win 1-0 in the first game under Ralph Ragnick, courtesy of a goal from Fred Gardavids, uh, as people are calling him on social media. An excellent strike and an excellent performance from the Brazilian in the middle, a player that many Man United fans have tipped to do very well under Ralph's leadership. Now, Manchester United have got a long way to go in terms of implementing the full style, making those adjustments from the Oli era and improving. But the win against Crystal Palace was the most important element. The clean sheet was good. The pressing early on in the game was absolutely immense. Man United winning the ball back higher up the pitch, leading to more creativity, more progressive passes, more touches in the opponent's box in the first half of a match this season. More shots on goal and attempts on goal in the first half of a game in nearly 12 months. Not since Man United beat Leeds United 6-2 on the 20th of December 2020 have so many balls, opportunities and chances been created in the opponent's box. For a club like Man United with the money we spend, it's an abomination to go a year without having at least 10 shots up, and, and I'm not talking P rollers from the edge of the P rollers from the edge of the box. I'm talking about genuine attempts on goal, working the ball into the box. It's an abomination to not have done that. The very early stage under the Ralph era, I don't think anybody should be getting carried away at this point, but be happy with the clear signals of improvement that Man United have at hand. On top of that, we're going to see a bit of rotation as well in the coming weeks. Man United fans don't want to see Tellus or Delo removed from this starting lineup at this moment in time. And I have to concur. They have both looked brilliant in the last two games. Offensively, being able to get forward, spread the play, create more balance in the Manchester United attack, which is something that Ralph Ragnick himself is focusing on massively. He wants more balance. He wants more cohesion. He wants a team that's equally strong on the right as it is on the left. And that's been missing, with all due respect, for the previous four managers at Manchester United. And if we can finally solve that problem, it will go a long way to fixing Manchester United. The low and tellers have been excellent, along with Fred, three players, in the last few games, have really stuck their head above the uh, their head above the precipice. Said I am, and are fighting hard for themselves, for the club, and for the fans of Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo has also been very impressive as well. We've seen that because he's been able to adapt to the press. It's only early on. Will he be able to do it two games per week at 36 years of age? No. Rotation is going to be key. Managing Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be key. But if we can continue to create, as we did in the first half of the game, throughout the course of matches, and as the team becomes fitter and more used to the system, there's no doubt in my mind that the level of chances created for the likes of Ronaldo, Cavani, Greenwood and Rashford are going to improve. Man United need to keep winning, and they need to keep winning now. Tottenham on a great run of form. West Ham are doing very, very well indeed. There is a genuine top four race on. There's three to four teams in it right now, including West Ham United, Tottenham, and Arsenal Football Club at a bare minimum. You've got Wolves and Leicester knocking on the door behind that as well. It's going to be exhilarating. It's going to be enthralling to see what happens. Very proud today as a Manchester United fan with how we performed and what it is that we did. I do want your thoughts. I do want your feelings. I want your comments below as well. Smash the like button before you leave uh, this show today. Uh, Ads here says, Terry, told you uh, told you, man about Fred. You know I've been talking about Fred since day, Terry. And a lot of you have been. A lot of Man United fans have backed Fred. A lot of others like myself, and I'm very open about this. We're not sure whether he was United quality in terms of the quality we want to get to. Equally, I don't think very many of our midfielders have been at that standard. He isn't the only one. Excellent performance from him today. And I hope as a Man United fan to see much, much more of it. But ladies and gentlemen, until next time, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you all again very, 